This is my PC fan fume extractor. It could not be easier to make, although it does require some soldering, so I guess hold your breath or wear a mask while making it. It should fit any standard 120mm PC fan, just 3D print the body of the fume extractor with your material of choice, and as for the internals, it uses a DC to DC step up converter, also called a boost converter, the ground of which is tied to the fan through a switch. These converters I'm using have a little micro USB socket on them already, so I opted to use that to make it easier. That way I don't have to gut a USB cable and add more soldering. Links to the boost converters and switches that I use are in the description if you want to use the same parts that I do so that they fit perfectly, but if you want to edit the mounting or add some stuff, I've also included the Fusion 360 files on the Thingiverse page for PC Fumex. Patrons of this channel have access to an unbranded version of the file and have a commercial license to sell it if they want. Because the cord is always plugged in, I added this little tiny piece just to give the panel a cleaner look. One of the nice things about this design is that you can assemble all of the electronics first if you want, test them out, and then put everything together. I like to make sure that my switch is fitted such that up is on, but that's just my preference. The first thing I did while prototyping was I hooked one of these PC fans up to my power supply to see how much current it would draw. It said it was rated for 12 volts at about half an amp, and I found that it was drawing much less current than that at 12 volts. We want to make sure that we don't exceed the maximum suggested power draw from a USB port, which is about 2.5 watts, and I found that I reached that limit right about at 18 volts for my fan. Most electric motors, which includes fans, can have their input voltage raised basically until it gets too hot and destroys something. I raised this one all the way up to 24 volts, and it seemed to be fine, but I decided on 18 just to make sure I was in the wattage limits and to not push the fan too far. When you're dealing with these DC to DC converters, the potentiometer can often adjust way beyond the range that the IC can read to change the voltage that it's dealing with. You often have to get a multimeter out before doing anything else and just spin the trim pot until you see something happen. Sometimes it can spin for a really long time before anything happens, but there's also no mechanical stop built into these, so they can spin freely forever and the resistance won't change, so you gotta play with it for a while to get it to work. If you're a go-getter, you could desolder this trim pot and add your own potentiometer, rotary or linear, to adjust the speed of the fan, but for simplicity's sake, I opted against this on mine. I was also going to put a battery in here too to give the option of cordless power, but decided against that too for the same reason. I made a battery-powered version of this fume extractor before, and it's really not as convenient as you might think. I also don't like the idea of needing to charge every single device that I own, and by taking the battery out I can also reduce the chance that I burn my house down. This is version 2 of the PC fan fume extractor. I made an Instagram reel about the version 1 the other day, I was taking it apart and kind of reviewing why I made some of the changes that I did. I won't get into all of that here, but if you're interested in the prototyping and design process, go check it out. I always recommend people use lead-free solder, the fumes of which are better for you but still not good. This fume extractor just moves the fumes away from your face though, which is good, but if you want to upgrade the design, consider getting some of those activated carbon air filter sheets and wedging some behind the fan. Getting the fumes out of your face is still much better than nothing though. I also like that I can turn the fume extractor around and use it as a fan on hot days. Thank you to all of my patrons, thank you to you for watching this video, thank you to Zero for sponsoring this video by sending me some of their mint matte macaron filament, and I hope you have a wonderful day.